Ferret Walk Hello, Claire's Keychain, a Ferret Walk movie. Ferret and Bofo were at the theater on Planet Mep. They were joined by Sabrina, Kim, Mary Bat, Megan Shannon, Shannon Destiny, Destiny Shannon, Milo, Larry, Mimsy, Lisa, Megan, the clones, and the Ferret Walk Yes Men and Women. The movie started. Claire was a college student. She took a class in quantum physics. One day her professor was missing. There was a formula on the board. Her professor discovered the method of time displacement. She was the brightest one in class. There was a generator on the table and she turned it on. The generator sparked and glowed and made a small black box that was about the size of a cold pill from the pharmacy. In a drawer was a small keychain with a clock, calendar, and a button. There was a compartment on the keychain where the box would fit. Claire set the clock and calendar and pushed the button. She vanished. Then she found the professor back in time. He used the little box without the calendar and clock and was stuck back in time. Claire brought him home. Ferret Walk Hello Kiss My Fate Ferret and Bofo were at the movies. Today's movie was Kiss My Fate. God called Matthew. The Lord wanted to tip the scales in the afterlife and Matthew could travel between life and afterlife. Matthew joined the library of ancestors. They wanted the book of the dead. Matthew traveled the void in the afterlife until he found death. Death was confused. Matthew wasn't in his book. Yet there he was. Matthew explained about the library of ancestors and the task the Lord put in front of him. Death agreed and gave him the book of the dead. Matthew wasn't in it. Matthew returned to the library with the book and was given a seat at the table of the Council of Free Will. Curse breakers. He had a soulmate named Bonnie. She was a shapeshifter and spent a lot of time as a cat. They had to break their curse together. There was a book on a stand that was writing itself by the door. I told the travels of Matthew about how a man cheated death. The title of the book was Kiss My Fate. Ferret Walk Hello, Destiny's Watch. Ferret and Bofo were joined at the movies by friends. Today's movie was Destiny's Watch. Fate and Destiny had pocket watches that would show them the crossing of lifelines of old souls. They have come back from a past life to break curses from a past life. Destiny's Watch was missing. Matthew was Fate, and he had a soulmate named Bonnie. Fate cheated death and his name wasn't in the Book of the Dead. Destiny's name was Destiny by some coincidence. Bonnie and her friend Angie went looking for Destiny's watch. Angie, in a past life, was the voodoo princess and had a lot of curses to break in this life. She teamed up with Bonnie, the cat shapeshifter, to break curses. Angie was good at puzzles. She had the lead to the Tetris Eyesore puzzle and she solved it to find the clue. Fate had Destiny's watch. Now where was Fate's watch? It was missing. Ferret Walk Hello Jinx Ferret and Buffo met some friends at the movies. Jinx Matthew was in the library of ancestors when he read about a curse. He followed the curse to a young woman. The closer he got to her, something would go wrong. His phone had no signal. He got a stain on his shirt. Matthew hurt himself when he introduced himself to her. He bumped his head. She told him 
that whenever she let herself get close to people, somebody would always get hurt and she felt responsible. What was next was to confront the man that cursed her. Matthew found him, then explained things to him. He laughed because it sounded silly. He was in a good mood and willing to meet her. Several lives ago he cursed her because she wouldn't be his wife. They met. He fell in love with her at first sight. She confronted him and the curse was broken. They started smiling and she agreed to go out with him for dinner. She was free to get close to people. Matthew went back to the library and the curse vanished off the page. Ferret Walk Hello Shadow Zone Another Ferret Walk Pretend Movie Matt and Bonnie had broken 12 curses and there was one curse left to break before they could be together. They used Destiny's Watch and Fate's Watch to lead them behind a mirror where everything was backwards. Left was right and they weren't even talking backwards. On the other side of the glass were another Bonnie and Matt. They were trying to help them understand the curse could be broken if they said the curse backwards. The other Matt and Bonnie held the curse to the glass and Matt and Bonnie read the curse backwards and broke it. The other Matt and Bonnie vanished. Then there were another Matt and Bonnie on the other side of the glass. The other Matt and Bonnie were trying to break their curse, the final curse. So they tried to help them by showing the curse backwards in the glass. The Shadow Zone myth was that everybody had a clone. They found out there was no time distortion in the glass and they saw themselves in the past. Ferret Walk Hello 17 Another Ferret Walk movie on Planet Map. Bofo and Ferret were joined by friends. Matthew was 17 years old when he discovered a small black box in the side of a pill. He thought it was unusual, so he thought he would take it home and put it on his motorcycle. He put the backpack there on the bike and raced off. When he came to a stop, he realized everything around him had changed. He stopped in a coffee shop to ask people about the changes and he met a young girl named Rhonda. He realized he traveled 100 years into the future. Also, he became very infatuated with Rhonda. But he knew he couldn't stay. He was off and things changed again. He stopped on a farm where he met someone named Alyssa. She was a young farmer's daughter and she became very infatuated with Matthew. He learned that he traveled 200 years into the past. He left again and found himself back with Rhonda. If he could figure out how the little black box worked, maybe he could control it. He was off again and was with Alyssa. He was no closer to finding his way home when he had a visit from a woman with a little black box and a keychain. She introduced herself. Her name was Claire. She gave him a keychain like hers. He put the little black box in a compartment, set the calendar and clock and pushed the button and went home. The keychain worked. So now how he was going to use it to see Rhonda again. He was just about to go when he was visited by a man in a black leather jacket. It was Matthew from the future. He told him to go home. Matthew went home. Claire and Rhonda were talking. They were friends and Rhonda found Claire and told her about Matthew. Claire found him and, he, and helped him. Rhonda's job on earth was done, so she went back to heaven. Rhonda was an angel. Ferret Walk Hello Dead Rain Another movie on Planet Mip. Dead Rain was playing and Bofo met Ferret and friends. Matt and Bonnie were driving on the highway when they passed an accident. 
the car looked just like the one they were in. There were two bodies on the ground waiting for the ambulance. They looked just like Bonnie and Matt. It started to rain. There was a bad thunderstorm and the rain came down heavy. They stopped at a motel. Bonnie called Angie, her best friend, and Christopher, Angie's brother. They were going to meet them in the rain, but the accident rattled them. Angie and Christopher came to the motel in the rainstorm. There were four of them in the motel. There was a dresser with a large mirror, and on it, they didn't see themselves when they looked in the mirror. Somebody wrote something in lipstick. The words were backwards, as if somebody wrote it from the other side of the glass. Karma will get you. Bonnie saw her reflection, then she was holding a doll that looked like Bonnie. She took the lipstick off and wrote the words, It's voodoo. Then she put the doll in the drawer on the other side of the glass. When Bonnie opened the drawer, the doll was there. The rain stopped. Ferret walk hello. Karma. Another ferret walk movie. This one is Karma. Bofo and Ferret were met by friends on Planet Map for another movie. Lisa was a waitress. Bonnie and Matt were having dinner when they heard a loud noise outside. They went to look, but there was a man with a baseball hat standing over a car. He cracked the windshield and muttered how he would teach a woman stealer some manners. Lisa knew the man and tried to tell him to calm down. She told him to be nice or Karma was going to get him. Bonnie told Matt that she knew Lisa from some place and went to look her up in the book of the Library of Ancestors. There was a picture of her. Lisa was the incarnation of Karma. Matt was the incarnation of Fate. Matt called Destiny. Destiny looked at her watch for a crossing of past lives. Lisa wasn't in it. Matt looked for Lisa in Fate's watch, and Lisa wasn't there either. Here was a woman that had no fate or destiny. Ferret Walk Hello Yesterday Machine Bofo and Ferret met friends from Planet Map on another movie. Matthew sat down in a photo booth to have his picture taken when he vanished back in time. He was living stories from history. Matt used the opportunity to break curses and confront the men who cursed, but he missed his date with Bonnie. Bonnie knew it was like not it was not like Matt to miss a date without calling, so she called Angie. Angie knew Voodoo. She used Voodoo to find him. They were able to send him a message. The booth he was in was really a yesterday machine, and they knew he was back in the past breaking curses. Bonnie came up with a plan to get him back. She went to Shadow Zone, found a backward mirror, and put the mirror in the booth. Matt returned. Ferret Walk Hello Afterlife Bofo and friends were joined by Ferret for another movie on Planet Map. Afterlife started and the Lord was there with his angels. They watched the world and there was a huge dark cloud covering the world. The cloud slowly disappeared. In the library of ancestors was a book named Fate. The book was writing itself. Fate was a man named Matthew and Matthew was in the afterlife breaking curses. He followed a curse to the Dark Lord. It was the Dark Lord that cursed the watches that Fate and Destiny used to find the crossing of lifelines of old souls. The world was covered by a dark cloud. He traced the curse of the watch to a room with a crystal. The curse was written on the wall. Matthew read the curse backwards and the curse lifted. The watches were broken. The Lord dispatched a cloud and he watched it and smiled. 
He sent an angel to go to Matthew and get destiny. They appeared before the Lord and he showed Matthew the world and described the dark cloud. Matthew watched as the cloud dissipated. That was the broken curse. The Lord blessed the watches and gave them back to Matthew and destiny. They still worked, but now they're blessed. Ferret Walk 11 Ferret Walk Haya Hoodoo Voodoo Another Ferret Walk movie on Planet Mip. Bofo and Ferret were joined by the gang again. Angie was the voodoo princess and she was using voodoo to help fate and destiny break curses. She would bind the bad guys. Fate came across a curse in the library of ancestors. Twigon had the land under his thumb by cursing the Lord. Angie was in the library reading Fate's book. The book wrote itself and Angie's name appeared. She thought for a moment then picked up the trail of Twigon. She used the curse to bind him and she bound him with a voodoo. Fate, or Matthew as his friends knew him, Follow the trail to break the curse. A messenger of the Lord entered the library and summoned Angie to the presence of the Lord. The Lord greeted her with a smile and showed her the world. The world was surrounded by a red mist. The Lord asked if she remembered asking the Lord when everything began. When she joined fate and destiny, she knew she would need more than just her strength. He heard that? Fate found the curses of Twigon. He saw Twigon was bound, and he said the curse backwards. Angie watched as a red mist on the world vanished slowly. The Lord smiled. He told Angie that he put her and Matthew up to it, and the scales of the afterlife were now in the balance. Angie was in awe. Ferret walk hello, past the popcorn. Bofo and Ferret were at the movies with friends. They sat in the middle and took up the whole row. Ferret was on one end and Matthew was at the other. Ferret turned to Bofo. Matthew had a large tub of popcorn. Ferret asked Bofo to pass the popcorn. Bofo turned to Destiny Shannon sitting on the other side of him and she asked her to pass the popcorn and the request was passed down the row. Bonnie was next to Matthew and she asked him to pass the popcorn. Matthew took a handful and passed it to Bonnie. Bonnie took a handful and passed it to Angie. Angie had a handful and passed it to Twigon. Twigon didn't take any and pass it to the Lord. The Lord blessed it passed it to Destiny. Destiny took some and passed it to Missy. Missy had some and passed it to Claire. Claire had some and passed it to Rhonda. Rhonda had some and passed it to Alyssa. Alyssa had some popcorn and passed it to Seventeen. Seventeen had it and passed it to Red. Red had some and passed it to Blue. Blue had some and passed it to Kate. Kate took some and passed it to William. William had some and passed it to Allie. Allie had some and passed it to Bobby. Bobby had some and passed it to Steve. Steve had some and passed it to Pete. Pete, Thunder, Goodman, Misty, Jane, Alia, Milo, Larry, Kim, Ophelia, Megan, Mimsy, Megan Shannon, Destiny Shannon, Shannon Destiny, Shannon. They all had some popcorn as the bucket was passed around. Buffo looked at the bucket when it came by and he passed it to Ferret. The bucket was empty. There were free refills so he went to see Mary Bat at the stand for some more popcorn. He sat down, took some popcorn, passed it to Buffo. They passed it all the way back to Matthew and when it got back to Matthew again it was empty. There were free refills, so he went to see Mary Bat and got some work. 